Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to be talking about how to deal with 360 video in Vegas for VR, 360 pictures, stuff like that. So let's get started. We need some 360 footage. Now, NASA is a cool thing because NASA actually gives you a lot of neat stuff like 360 images, pictures of space, things like that, rights free. Now there are some rules about using math, NASA media and things like that, but for the most part it's rights free. So uh, if you're looking for some 360 footage to experiment with, this is this is a great place to start. But you can download these files, the original image or a compressed image, uh, right here. All right, so now that I got my 360 media, I'm just gonna drag and drop that to my project media tab right here. And now you can just use it like regular media. This is an image, uh, but the thing about 360 video is you're dealing with time and space. So we're not gonna get into all the details of how to construct a time and space narrative or something like that today. We're just gonna talk about the basics of like using, manipulating, repositioning 360 footage and then rendering that out into something that can be viewed as 360 footage. So this is a panorama. And you can see here, some, sometimes they'll have the sky and the bottom and stuff stitched into the picture or taken with a 360 camera. Sometimes it's going to look like this where there's little pieces missing. And you're like, well, how do I get to that 360 view that it promised? Well, that's actually pretty simple. First off, you just go to your project properties. And then you check this box that says 360 output and apply. And then, this won't be hit by default, there's a 360 mode button for your preview window that'll appear. When you select that mode, now you're going to have a little window that shows you where in your positioning you are. You can look up, you can look down, you just got this little grabber hand right here that you can click and drag and move through your 360 image. And the question is, in the video, how long do you want to give a person in VR or a person clicking around a chance to view your 360 image? That length is selected right here. And so if you want to give them five seconds or a minute or whatever, go ahead and you just select that length and then, you know, however long the video is playing, you'll still be, re they'll have a chance to look around or reposition the video during that time. If you swap to another image, it'll swap to another image and then they'll have time to look or they'll be put inside of another image, essentially. You're, you're putting people inside of something instead of showing them a screen. It's a different it's a different kind of concept. So your question is, now how do I do anything with that? Well, if you, same way, if you grab the loop region like you're going to render something and then go to file and then render as, with the 360 mode on, you'll have two formats you can choose from, a AVC or HEVC. AVC is the more YouTube friendly format and so we're going to select the AVC format and then we're just going to render it out and you can name it whatever you want and render it out and then you can have uh, this HD, you can do 1080p, you can do 4K, whatever your base resolution is that you want to match. Uh, ours is more of a 4K style image so you can do that at 4K. I went ahead and rendered out a 1080p one uh, just to show you because if you do that then boom you can make a little video on YouTube that is 360 and then you can move it and reposition it around. Now I only made it five seconds long so you only have five seconds to <laughs> manipulate the video but I just rendered, uploaded this to YouTube just like I did uh, a normal video but it works perfectly, no issues uh, with the VR capabilities because Vegas handled that in the format. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. This video is brought to you by patrons and people like you uh, and people who use my affiliates link. So thank you so much. I'll see you next time.